You've heard about it in country songs. You may have even driven right by it without knowing. A tiny spot in the Texas Hill Country that has become legendary. Lukenbach, Texas. Willie and Waylon and the boys won't be there, but today we're going to find it. Texas is full of lost history. From lost cemeteries to abandoned buildings. From the infamous to the obscure. Hitch a ride and travel across the Lone Star State, looking for hints of Texas' colorful past, our lost history. This is Expedition Texas, and we're gonna find it. Expedition Texas, presented by JMT Music Entertainment. See your favorite artists live in concert. Find shows near you on Facebook at JMT Music Entertainment. Half the fun of traveling to Lukenbach, Texas is getting there. You have to travel through the Texas Hill Country to find the little town. The scenic trip makes it a huge destination for bikers. But what you'll find when you get there has made it a huge destination for Texas music lovers. And that history is what most folks know about Lukenbach. But there's so much more to the story, and the man to tell us all about it is Virgil Holdeman. There's two histories to Lukenbach, Texas. There's the pioneer history of Lukenbach, and then there's the modern history, I like to call it, that started in 70. Pre-1970, the Angles settled here, bought the property off the Lukenbachs. Uh, in 1849, August Engel was an interim Lutheran preacher and he started a trading post here. He traded with the Comanche Indians and the pioneers alike. Of course, at that time, the, the 10 mile trip to Fredericksburg was quite a bit further trip when you did it by wagon. So it eventually worked into a general store. It had a, the post office from 1850 to 1971. It had a cotton gin that ran from 1879 to 1929 various stages of success with a cotton gin in this rocky ground in this part. And the school is like across 1376 here, but this was the main road, which is the Lukenbach Loop until 1376 came in. So the dance hall was built, which is the oldest building on the property where we're at now in the mid 1880s. And uh, all the German communities had a dance hall. You know, the Oompa bands, the polka music. Right. Uh, all the little towns around the area have little dance halls left there. A lot of them are still working. So at that point, Hondo Crouch, a true Texas character. He was a UT graduate, two-time All-American swimmer, but what he was most is just like his card said, an Imagineer. Him and two partners, Kathy Morgan, Geach Cook. Geach Cook, was the star in a TV series called Carter Country. He was the goofy deputy in Carter Country, but also a character. So with the cast of characters in place, when they bought it, they started events that we still hold today, like the Mud Dauber Festival. They got a guy with a remote recording equipment to come in, and in 1973, they recorded the Viva Trilingua album in this dance hall at a dollar dance. Huh. Guy Clark's Desperado's Waiting for a Train. Yeah. Uh, Jerry Jeff's Sangria Wine. Little Bird. Yeah. Uh, Ray Wiley Hubbard's Up Against the Wall Redneck Mother. And Gary P. Nunn's London Homesick Blues. All on that album. People were coming to Lukenbach for the Viva Trilingua music, you know. Yeah. That's the type which skyrocketed Jerry Jeff Walker. It was his hit album. So those things happening here was the magic of Lukenbach. The magic of Lukenbach. We've heard that Lukenbach was magical, and coming up we'll experience a little of that for ourselves, along with hundreds of other people looking for magic on a warm summer day in Lukenbach, Texas. General store. This is the old general store. And Hi, y'all. We still have some general store products that we keep in the oh, wow. museum part of it. We're 
We're in Lugenbach, Texas, ready to learn exactly how the tiny town became a destination for Texas music fans from all over the world. Our guide is Virgil Holdeman. Virgil is a familiar face around Lugenbach. His official title is Virgil the Store Guy, and he takes his job seriously. He always is ready with an arsenal of jokes which he sprinkles on the crowd as he makes his way through. And we're about to make our way through to learn the history of Lugenbach, Texas. A lot of folks they come out here, they stop right here and get their picture taken right up here in front of the old general store. Wow, it's got people have written all over it. Yeah, we don't really encourage the writing on it, but you can see from the <laughs> you can see from the sign here this store is like an antique rocker. Relax and enjoy it. Please don't ride on her. And they wrote, they wrote all over it. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's that laugh. Virgil's laugh is worth the trip to Lukenbach all on its own. <laughs> this is the old general store. And Hi, y'all. We still have some general store products that we keep in the oh, wow. museum part of it. Yeah. I've got that corset medium, but I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> this is a Himalayan possum. Oh, wow. I found Himalayan in the road. Really? <laughs> <laughs> this is the old post office, this shelf right here. Oh, cool. Now, the white line on the floor. Yeah. That was the line for the post office. You don't drink on this side of the white line. You can drink on this side of the line. You can drink on this side of the line. Exactly. We're on the right so side of the line right All now. post office should have a beer joint. That way, yes. nobody goes postal. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all come to this side of the line. It's more fun over here. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all come right on ahead. Welcome. Thank Glad you, to have y'all. Now, this is actually my department. Okay. No, looky there. I run the nut department. <laughs> I'm a little overqualified, <laughs> but they were okay with that. Howdy. And the back part back here is the bar part of Luke and Bob. And there's a lot cool. of history in the bar, my pictures, and uh, with people that have been here. Yes, now, yes. A lot of people have been here in pictures. That's Jimmy Lee Jones. Okay. Willie. Uh huh. Maggie Montgomery. Bell Ann Howe. Bell Ann was the Lukenbach mayor. The mayor? Mayor. Uh, M-A-R-E ma mayor. mayor. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> now, are there any pictures of Hondo up here? This is Hondo. This is Hondo and Tex Schofield. Now, Allegheny Jane Schofield was the first world champion ladies chili cook and very big part of Lukenbach. At the time, Trilingua and the World Championships and all of that was going on, they didn't have women competition. You had to win a chili cook-off to go to Trilingua and compete. So they started the Hell Hath No Fury Lady State Chili Cook-Off okay. in Lukenbach. Okay. When they had that cook-off, Janie won it. It got her into Trilingua and she won the World Championship. Wow, awesome. Yes. One of the Willie Nelson picnics, I believe the 98 picnic. Wow. And, and that's the crowd in Lukenbach. There was a few people here. Yeah, there's a couple. So tell me about Hondo. Hondo was a local rancher, uh, a two-time All-American for the University of Texas, but he was known all over. Hondo was such a character and had a, such a connection to all folks, even speaking and in Fredericksburg one time with Bob Hope, Bob Hope wrote him a letter about upstaging him. He was just that type oh, of wow. character. There's a couple of his poems that are published called Lukenbach Daylight and the Lukenbach Moon. And one of the things in the Lukenbach Moon poem, it, or, uh, it said, uh, not much happened in Lukenbach this month except for the tater chip man come by. <laughs> you know, so Love it. Yeah. he was just that type of guy. Yeah. This is probably the most complete cotton gin I've ever seen. It ran from 1879 to 1929.
We're in Lugenbach, Texas, a small Texas town that has over time become a tourist attraction and music venue in the Texas Hill Country. But there's some deep history that goes back to the 1800s, and we'll see that as we head down to the creek. Well, the creek's actually, this is Snail Creek, and the one over the ridge that we're headed towards is Grape Creek. Now, some of these live oak trees that are over here or anywhere from 150 to 300 years old. Wow. There's a cypress tree right over here we'll go by that hundreds of people get married in front of. We wow. hold so many weddings out here, and to my knowledge, we haven't had a divorce. <laughs> no divorces out yeah, here. Yeah, we've did okay. all weddings so okay, far. Okay, good. So that's, that's a pretty good deal. It's a good track record. Yeah. <laughs> Some bragging rights there. Yeah, this is a over 500 year old cypress tree and there's no telling how many hundreds of people have stood right here to get married. Oh, it's really? It's kind of a natural amphitheater. Yeah. And we set up the crowd in the chairs for them if they want them, and folks get married standing with this tree as the background in Grape Creek. You know, there's a lot of action over where the music's at, Yeah. and then there's the peaceful park on this side yes, of the creek. Yes, this so, is a magnificent tree. Yes, such a lot of memories are made here and, there's, and it's magical. A lot of folks talk about the magic of Lukenbach. And just up the hill from Grape Creek was the old cotton gin at Lukenbach. It ran from 1879 to 1929 and there was a big gin building here. Now some of the pieces like the gin and table have been re restored and put away. This is the old boiler because it was a steam-powered cotton gin. Oh, wow. This was in the days of steam power. That's why they put it on the creek and stuff. So we are in the process. They're going to want to restore as much of it they can and maybe put a pavilion here. That's awesome. Big steam boiler. And then that, this is probably the most complete cotton gin I've ever seen. Almost every part of the grounds at Lukenbach serves some purpose, though this looks like an open field, it was actually the campgrounds. The chili cook-offs, the Lady State chili cook-offs, all happened here that were during those days in the, in the 70s. We still have the hug-in, but the chili cook-off has moved on, but we have a Lukenbach chili cook-off at the Mud Dauber Fest in March. Awesome. Always in March. Gonna have to dig out my chili recipe, man. That's right. Yeah. I'll be on your team. All right. I'll be Good. glad you to. You help me eat it. You bet. <laughs> yeah, this is the Engel House. This is where the Engels lived as they ran Luke and Bach and the property. I, uh, I don't actually know what year the house itself was built. I know that they're in, in uh, part of the restoration now, but as a historic monument, there's only you have to get yeah. everything right to do it. Yeah. But I know the post office, while they were getting set up down there, was actually housed in the upstairs room of this house. Wow. This, this is definitely an older house, though. Correct. Yeah. So let me get this straight. Hondo bought a town. <laughs> yeah, he said uh, he wanted to buy Dallas, but it wasn't for sale. <laughs> so he actually... Uh, bought Lukenbach instead, but he had a ranch on the Sisterdale side uh -huh. and a ranch on the Fredericksburg side. So he bought Lukenbach where he had a place to have a beer in between. <laughs> Good place to stop, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what is this house? Here? This, this is the old root cellar. Oh, wow. Can I go down there? Sure. Big old rat trap here. Yeah. Hadn't been sprung though, so I think it's okay. So what was stored down here? Well, uh, in the day, a root cellar was a place that they kept stuff cool. Okay. Like all our canned goods, when they canned oh, all okay. the vegetables for the year. Historically, a root cellar was a cool place yeah. in the summertime all right. to keep things. San Marcos town and then back up to Thurber. Everybody said get the Luke and Bach and see my man Virgil. You're watching Expedition Texas.
We're in Lukenbach, Texas. This place was once a small town, but in more recent years has become home to concerts, campouts, chili cook-offs, weddings, and more. Hondo Crouch once presided over the town as its self-proclaimed mayor. These days, our guide Virgil is the tall Texan that greets you when you visit Lukenbach. Okay, what, how old is this building here? You know, I do not know. I think they built that in the 70s when they really, really started having crowds out here. Yeah. This carving was done by Doug Moreland during one of our events. He actually carved it right here on the property. Wow. Doug Moreland is a great musician. He's a fiddle player from Alpine, Texas, but he lives in Manchester. Oh, really? And he puts on uh, the big calf fry competition every year. You've got quite the collection of uh, posters and articles and all kinds of good stuff in here. Yeah, there's just a lot of the history spread out in the in the office here and the egg house, we call it. They used to sort the eggs in here for the uh, egg route as to grading the eggs, you know. Oh. So we, uh, we have a lot of the history in here, a lot of the posters, a lot of the articles. Just a testimony to the to the fun and the shows and and it, it it's small compared to what really exists in posters. You even got them on the ceiling. Oh yeah. 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 Earlier, Virgil told us about a famous Jerry Jeff Walker album recorded here. Viva Trilingua was Walker's second album. So this is the Jerry Jeff Walker Viva Trilingua C CD that was recorded in 73 in the dance hall right behind you right back here right there that's it and that is hondo's hand yeah we saw that big picture out there earlier that's so cool i can't wait to get in the car and listen to this man yeah you're gonna, gonna love be it awesome that's the cd that brought me to luke and bob first time first time i came is because i had heard this awesome so, I had to make the journey to Lukenbach, Texas. Well, I got it backwards. I came before I heard this, but I have heard songs from it, so. Oh, yeah. Well, we're listening to the whole thing several times on the way to the next expedition, so we're out of here. All right. All right, man. Thanks, Bob. Sure. Wait a minute. There's something I forgot to do. Something every singer or songwriter must do if they come to Lukenbach, Texas, and I almost left without doing it. So, Bob, it's been wonderful to have you come visit us here in Lukenbach. It's been a great yeah. afternoon, great music, wonderful people, a lot of folks to see. Yeah. But before you leave Lukenbach, Texas, yeah. I know you play and sing. Yes, sir. Everybody needs to play a song in Lukenbach, Texas. Might as well. Lukenbach Dance All Stage. Oh, that's cool. All right, so uh, I, I've been trying to work up something, Virgil, and it's got a little bit about you in it. So uh, let's see how we do here. Okie doke. Went on down to San Marcos Town and then back up to Thurber. Everybody said get to Luke and Bach and see my man Virgil. You learn a little and laugh a lot and drink a little shiner. So our next stop is Luke and Bach. <laughs> Oh, you made a little money, Bob. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah. Virgil, thanks for showing us around, man. Been a pleasure to have you, Bob. Thank you. Come see us again real soon. All right. Lukenbach, Texas has been around since the 1850s. First as a German town, then as a breeding ground for country music in Texas. The songs and the stories will go on as long as there are people willing to travel to Texas Hill Country, make a turn off the highway, grab a beer, and sit a while. When you go, be sure to say howdy to Virgil. There's lost history all over Texas, and down the road, another lost legend is waiting to be rediscovered. And on Expedition Texas, we're going to find it. Everybody go. Wait, that's not how it goes. What was that last line? There was a, see my man Virgil. I mean, I made this up like literally while you were standing out there. 